What's up, everybody? Guys, I got some for you. You got to listen to me right now. You got to understand um, what builds confidence. All right. So today, I'm out here on the mountain. Um, it's a little. It's a hill. It's a rather steep hill, as you can see on that side. But be up behind me, you got this big trail. It goes up, progressive climb, and I'm walking up it right now. And uh, what I want to share with you guys is pretty simple, guys. It's what creates confidence. It's what creates confidence. It's what creates confidence. It is so, so important to understand what creates confidence. Muscle memory creates confidence. But I'm going to talk about not just a muscle memory, like from a physical standpoint, but from a habit standpoint. You see, habits, habits are like muscles. The more we work them and we apply them in our life, the more they become part of our memory, part of our habitual daily routines. And what they're going to do is they're going to build incredible amounts of confidence. You see, the most successful people in the world, they are not too afraid to challenge themselves with habits. To, to, to write down and say, I'm going to visualize every day. I'm going to journal every day. I'm going to set my goal every day. I'm going to hit 100 high crotches or single legs every single day. 100 snap downs. Well, I'm talking to a lot of wrestlers out there, but this message is for anybody. This message is for anybody that wants to have confidence so that they can do whatever they want in their life. Right now, I'm chasing a dream. I'm chasing a dream of not just doing what I'm passionate about, but becoming as successful as I can become because I feel like I'm in a place where God is asking me to pursue it with everything I have. My company is named All In, okay? It's a lifestyle, it's a choice, and it's time. You see, to say it is one thing, but to do it is another thing. Those of you guys that know me pretty well, you know that on the side of my business, one of the things that's crazy important to me is to stay extremely fit because I'm racing against some of the best racers in the entire world in a race called Spartan. It's an obstacle course race. You might have saw us on ESPN just last weekend. We were on ESPN at the World Championships. And you know what? I was in a team race. We finished fourth in the world. And we did good, but here's the thing. Here's the thing that hits me in the heart, okay? And But I look at it as an opportunity, okay? And it was that I was a smidge too slow. We were in second place, and with the right kind of strategy in place, um, if we would have finished and kind of executed a strategy correctly, and also, if we would have just um, been a little bit faster, been a little bit better on the hill climb, then maybe we would have won the race. You see, I wasn't the first guy up to the top of the hill. So maybe that's not the best. I wasn't the first guy to the bottom of the hill. I got passed. Maybe that wasn't the best. But I look at that failure as an opportunity to create a habit. So what am I out here doing? I'm out here. I'm running up these hills. You can see the mountains behind me. You see me? I'm up over the city right now. Here, let's see if I can get it right there. You see the city? Okay, right behind me. Okay, now I'm up over the city and I'm putting in the work in. Why? Because I know that if I keep running these hills up and down, I'm on rep 15 actually right now. Okay, I decided to walk one so I could talk to you guys. But if I keep running these hills, look at the sweat. I'm soaked right here. That's work, putting in the work. Every day I have to have action, okay, tied to my motive, tied to my habit. If I keep running these hills, I'm going to get faster. I'm going to get faster, and I'm going to beat some of the best in the world. Okay? And I'm not going to let anybody tell me that I can't be the best in the world. I get this all the time. People are doubting me. People are like, really? You think you can actually get faster? It's a bunch of bullshit, to be honest. Okay? And that, I'm sorry for cussing. I shouldn't cuss, but that's just the truth. That's like somebody telling you that you, know, that you, can't, you can't believe in something better than yourself. That's what it is. That's like, that's like saying that... There's no God that created this world. 
Okay, and I know a lot of people, you know what, you got your opinions. Guess what? I'm a believer. I believe in Jesus, and I know what he's got in plan for me. Okay, and, I, and you're not going to stop me from believing in that. Nothing's going to stop me from believing in that. So that's my message to you guys today. It's not just, not just to believe in it, not just to say it, but to go put in the work every single day so that you can reflect someday on your success. You can have the success that you desire. That, that habit that you write down on a piece of paper can become a reality because you do it every single day. When you do it every single day, it becomes a habit. Okay? People that aren't successful, they think about it. They think about it all the time. They think about winning the championship all the time. They think about being on the top of the podium all the time. They think about being the best in the country all the time. But they don't write it down and they don't do actionable steps every single day, every single moment, every single minute that, that is going to allow them to actually become that. Okay? To become that dream that they have of who they really want to be. You know what's scary is you can dream it now, but it can fade really quick. Okay, and before too long, you're going to be too old, okay, and it's going to fade away, and you're not going to be able to have that dream of shocking the world, of doing big things, okay? So you got to dream big, and you got to apply action right now, right now. You have to go all in. It's a lifestyle. It's a choice, okay, and it all of a sudden, it becomes a habit. Your habits are like muscle memory. The more you do them, okay, the more muscle memory you have, okay, just like technique. If you're practicing something over and over and over, you're going to get more muscle memory and eventually you're going to build confidence and when you have habits and you do them over and over every single day and they're actionable and they're tied to a big goal a big dream okay you're going to create confidence momentum and then you're going to go shock the world go do it all in it's a lifestyle it's a choice it's time